Goody. We're gonna go to the dungeons. All right, skills. We max them out. Let's just go crazy into magic, and then I think we need to do some weapons training. We'll try and do that next. So classes, loom and resist magic, and wield magic. Done. All right, you increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind affecting magic to twist your reactions. You learn to summon a small glowing light, which you can then move around independently. It's like Lumos. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Alath has passed away. This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Ilath in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Aris, the Duchess of Lila, has pre Lila, 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 has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border. Duchess Aris almost certainly killed her second husband after she divorced him. Her son, the Earl of Isle, apparently hates and fears her. And the last Duke of Mead died in mysterious circumstances while she was around, which means the title of Mead passes to Arisa's daughter. Without proof, she couldn't be punished. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. Hmm. Let's leave him with his mom. Adair must be upset enough already without us taking him away from his home, leaving him with leave him with his stepmother. As you wish. Mm, we'll sneak out again. Alright, classes. Do this again. You learn to consciously project a magical feel through your thoughts, blocking outside magic from touching your mind, but only when you have the energy to consciously resist. You gain innate resistance to light and dark. You can now see the black blackest caves or stare into the sun without going blind. You learn how to cast rays of white, white light, which can banish shadows and blind your opponents. You learn to create tiny disks of solid light, which can fly through the air and cut into targets. Oh, and I got a new outfit. Excellent. There is a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes, wishes crown patronage, which means money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. The Queen of Sanjo was taken in by a musician who turned out to be after her crown. Not only that, but a lumen in disguise and now ruling her domain. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. It's actually pretty good. Um... No, I don't think I want her. Thank you, but we are not interested. Let's get a little... Well, let's sneak out. We'll stay a little more willful and then we'll become more yielding because what the heck, why not? All right. New outfit. What outfit did I get? Oh! That's pretty. Sure, let's do that one. All right. Resist and wield magic. Yeah, we'll just max those out, I think. Glasses. All right. You learn to consciously project a magical shield around your body by blocking intrusion. A powerful technique, but you can't keep it up for long. You gain increased resistance against heat and cold, becoming comfortable in different weather and environments, and able to sip hot soup without burning your tongue. Oh, I wish I had that ability. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics or enrages animals in the area. You learn to create a blade of solid light which you can wield like a sword to slice through flesh and stone alike. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. It's a bit messy and hard to read, but he seems to be thanking you for letting him stay with the family he knows. You also receive an update from your agents. It would seem that the Duchess of Lila is not pleased with your actions and is putting out feelers amongst the other nobles for support. If she means to rebel against you, that is treason. Unfortunately, she's a long way away in her own power base. Calling her to order may not be easy. Still, the longer you wait, the more dangerous she may become. Let's send soldiers to arrest her. You give orders for a military company to travel to Lila and take the Duchess into custody. We're going to sneak it again. going. You learn how to quickly flare magical shields around you to deflect an incoming attack. This uses much less energy than to have a constant shield, but it requires good timing to be effective. You learn how to maintain a low level deflection field so that magical attacks not directly targeted at you will slide harmlessly aside. 
This doesn't need much power, so you can keep it up over you can keep it up for long periods of time. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic with your own power so that you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. This is very dangerous if the other spell is too powerful. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through this end of a staff, burning whatever you point at. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics, confuses, or enrages other people around you. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. Staring up at the sky, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star! Pretty! <laughs> Time has passed and there is no word from the soldiers you sent to arrest the Duchess of Lila. Something must have gone wrong. Hmm. Alright, we're going to sneak out again. And we're almost maxed, so let's just do that. Do the, yeah, we'll just finish it, I think. Your increased skill and power gives you innate resistance to mind affecting magic. You understand the flow of power. Your understanding of the flow of power gives you increased resistance to damage caused by magic, even without a shield. You can still be hurt, but less than an ordinary human would be. I have nothing more to learn about resist magic. You learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning those caught with it and blinding others who look at it. You learn how to make use of images to wield your other powers at a great distance. You have nothing more to learn about wield magic. All right then. My lady, there is a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem, describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for a queen. I... what? With a squid? That's funny. That's actually pretty funny. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls between the windows of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hands and off into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover that the poem caught and is fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. Let's try and climb out and grab it. You take a moment to look at where you'll have to climb in order to reach your target. It's so close, you just need to put your foot here and your hand there and then reach a little bit more. <gasps> Ow! You're lucky you didn't break your neck, but your bruises are going to make it difficult to do anything strenuous for a while. Goody. Okay, we're sneaking out again. Uh oh, crap. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, we can go to Sense Magic and I guess yeah let's just finish up sense magic you close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell behind, beside you you learn to detect ongoing enchantments such as blessed weapons that can do magical damage you learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures so that you can tell roughly what a spell you detect is meant to achieve you expand your magical perceptions to give you some idea of where a detected spell was cast from and how long ago. My lady, there are letters for you. I have a letter from Brioni. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwinnell's birthday party. That's right, Gwinnell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. The other letter must be the other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwinnell and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Let's go. I'll probably die, and that's okay. It'll be good to see my friends. Yay! Let's sneak out again. All right. Well, I don't have crazy time, but I think we're gonna finish the magic. We'll do one, and let's go weapons and er, medicine. Let's go medicine and try and do some last minute stuff. All right. You learn to detect the latent power that signifies a lumen even when he or she is not actively working magic. You expand your senses, learning to detect spells and magical creatures at a greater distance. You learn to detect lingering traces of strong magic from the past, even when the spell has long since completed. Nothing more about sense magic. Excellent. You learn that wo wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. All right. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits. You look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself into your side. Outside you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You hear a story somewhere of pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. <gasps> I guess I'm dead. Yep. Awesome. Alright, well... That happened. So Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her. 
But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and LOD star may arise again. So that brings us to an end. Um, I'd like to do this a bit more because this game is kind of amazing. But if you guys have achievements, I have like almost all the achievements done. So if you guys have achievements that you would like me to show you how to get, just let me know and I can do a walkthrough of that. We'll do a speedy walkthrough of it. Um, and if you want me to try and pick different choices, just let me know. Otherwise, there will be a new series next week. But yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that enjoyable. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.